Whenever we think about sales, a lot of us think about cold calling, right? And my, I myself, man, I cut my teeth early, right? And I, I was doing cold calling in college. Uh, it paid really well. Um, I mean, I was making like, I can't even remember, but it was like 12 to 15 bucks an hour. And this is, you know, 15 plus years ago. I like to say 15, it's like more like 20, but I learned this skill very early. And I'll tell you this, that look, it is, it is a very, tough part but but the reason it's tough and this is what i found across the board and there was something about where it didn't hit me like i saw it hitting you know 90 percent of other people is that i never took it personal when someone rejected me or someone is like no you suck i'd just be like oh man i gotta get better you know every no for me was a oh man i, I need to step my game up there's something dumb or stupid i said right before that that made that person say no and so I get this question a lot, which is, do I need to be good at cold calling to be good at sales? I'm gonna do a yes and. Yes, you do. And there's a possibility you could be good without it. There's one thing that cold calling teaches you, maybe two. Number one, resiliency. And so you get told no or whatever it is multiple times a week. And when you do that long enough, man, hearing the word no is like, yeah, all right, fine, whatever. Next, next, next. Whereas if you don't have that experience and you're not used to people telling you no to your face or like via phone or via Zoom, you might be a little softer, right? So I think cold calling teaches you resiliency that just being in, if you've never done it before, it just it will not teach you that same Two people interacting, one person looking you in the virtual eyes or via phone, ear to ear, nah, not gonna happen. Teaches you resiliency versus like keyboard warrior, no, it's not gonna happen, it's much different. All right, uh, and then maybe the other thing is that it teaches you how to react calmly and confidently in the moment. So you get in a big sales meeting, someone says, well, what about this, this, and this? That doesn't make a lot of sense. If you've done thousands of cold calls, You've heard a million objections. So you know how to just sit there, be with it, acknowledge, and then address it. We call it air, acknowledge, ignore, resume. Sometimes, other times you have to just answer it. So do you have to be good at cold calling to be great at sales? I think the answer is yes. And there's probably a few people where the answer is no, but that resiliency that it teaches you and the ability to react quickly, thoughtfully, and confidently Man, I don't know of any other place other than cold calling where you can get that. So my friends, my sales friends, my marketing friends, if you like the video, please make sure to like it, leave a comment. I try to get into the, almost all the comments whenever I can and make sure to hit the bell to subscribe. Uh, again, I've said this on a few videos now, but I am really excited to get more active on YouTube and appreciate, appreciate, appreciate all of you tuning in.